Hi everyone, so I originally made this video to do an update but we kind of want to just incorporate this at the start of the video because it's very important and we really need you to all know and try and help as much as you can. So that's why the lighting is different in the first half but we just need to get this straight out there so I can explain a bit. This is my mum. Hi. Um, 11 days ago, Shan ended up in the hospital, as most of you know from the updates on Facebook. Um, we didn't know what those 24 hours were going to bring, and it was a really, really scary time. Um, thankfully, she, she got over it okay, and she's had an operation, and um, started new chemotherapy. But this chemotherapy is not enough. We've been in touch with America, and they need her to get back there, and they need her to get back there as soon as possible. They gave us a provisional date of September the 28th um, and then told us that they were going to go away and give us the quotes for the different types of um, treatments she will have to go on which will consist of several different chemotherapies, um, targeted therapies and a minimum of three operations. Basically everything that could get me better is in Texas. Yeah. So they came back to us after a few days of um, going, yeah, an email, wasn't it? Yeah, going through all of the, the different costs. I'll leave the email right here and you can see. So when they first came back with the quote it was over 800,000 and um, we nearly died of shock. So we went back and forth negotiating with them to get the best possible price and it's come in and it's $527,000. We have no idea how we're going to raise this amount of money. We need everyone to help us in whatever way they can. I'm going to leave links all below and links on this just to show you of ways to help as well. Unfortunately, outside of Europe, there is no funding for, for Chantel. And there shouldn't be a price put on life, but for her, there has been a price put on it and we need to do everything in our power to make sure that we can make it possible for her to um, to make it over to the States because I'm not giving up. We're not giving up. There's been a, a Shades for Shan fundraiser. I'll leave a few pictures here. People who have done a Shades for Shan selfie and basically you can just um, donate to my GoFundMe um, how much however little or much you want and then you send in a selfie with some shades on to make it more fun and stuff and um, yeah that would really help us a lot if you could donate to like it really doesn't matter one euro or ten euro anything will help mm -hmm. so just please <laughs> try and donate or fundraise and get us there yeah and get this beautiful wonderful child of mine better <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and, and now it'll be on to my update that I did earlier but we just really needed to kind of get this out there because we really need your help. Bye. Thanks. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, basically, I am just out of hospital. I'm only home for the night. Um, I got home from Spain and then a few days later my kidneys were under so much pressure from the cancer and I had to get a super pubic catheter in I'll place one right here of what it looks like and um, basically it drains your bladder so that you don't have to urinate and it took a lot of pressure off of my kidney I feel like the lighting's really weird I'm sorry if it is I'm sorry if I look really bad I'm literally just out of hospital I'm only allowed home for one night because um, I literally just wanted to get home and I'm not really ready to be out of hospital yet but they agreed to let me home so if you've been following me on Instagram I'll leave it here you'll kind of know this I've been kind of updating the page a lot I moved I feel like this lighting is a bit better but yeah had a really tough couple of days um, I started my new chemo and um, I'm on injections every single day now for that. I'm on tons of medication. I'm still in a lot of pain from this, the surgery of the super pubic catheter. It's basically the catheter comes out of the pubic bone, um, not the urethra. And it's just causing a lot of pain. Um, 
there's like bladder bladder spasms and full bladderness that kind of makes you feel really sore and gives you cramps so I'm still trying to get used to that I'll like insert a clip maybe up here of my catheter if it isn't oozing too much because I don't want to show you it until like unless it looks okay because like I don't want to gross you out and um, so yeah just I've learned to walk again the last few days it's just been a really really tough days in hospital I was in there for 10 days and I'm going back um, tomorrow tomorrow night so I don't know how much longer I'll be in there they were like really worried they nearly lost me one night and it's just been a really really scary um, hospital admission so yeah I really missed making videos for you guys and I really hope I can make some more soon but I just wanted to get this quick update out there please keep me in your thoughts um, I hope I can get through this and I just I know I will and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and thank you for always being there to support me please like and subscribe and comment down below um anything you like um I always love reading your lovely comments it really cheers me up and so yeah uh, thank you all so much for watching that'll be all for today just a short little video trying to explain what I've been gone and yeah, so bye guys. I love you so much.